Hello there. Hi, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. <laughs> Finally, I'm speaking with you. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Wait, is, is that part of the prize you're using right now? Uh, well, I, I didn't get that clearly. Okay. I can hear you, but I didn't get that clearly. Let's go right into the interviews. Okay. First, I'd like you to okay. tell the community everything about you. Or well, not everything, because I know it's a lot, but major, major things, okay. major happenings that you feel the world should know about you. All right. My name is Tolu Lokwe Kolade. Um, of course, uh, you call me T-Code, T-Code 70. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a voice actor, first of all, and uh, that's what I love to do. I'm also an on-air personality. Yeah, I host radio shows and the likes. Um, I also co-founded a company that we're into uh, audio production and a couple of um, broadcast um, services that we do. That just encapsulates what I do generally. But talk about voiceovers. I love to do narrations, documentaries. I love to do commercials a lot. And um, I play around with the other um, types of voiceovers too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So are and you of course, I play? should mention that I am. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say that I, I am the winner of um, the Nigerian voice acting contest. Yeah. The first yeah. of its kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Amazing. You've set the standard and I'm pretty sure anyone coming after now, yeah, they're going to look up to you. Okay. So are you trying to say now that what you do in the audio industry uh, is your passion and it's also yeah. your, what you use to earn a living? Is that what you're saying? Yes. So you're, you're telling absolutely everyone correct. out there that wants to be a voiceover actor, uh, that wants to be a podcaster, yeah. that it's possible to make a living. Like in this uh, Nigerian economy, it's possible to make a living, <laughs> you know, like this. It is possible to make, yes, it is possible to make a living out of voice acting. Um, mm -hmm. I'll be very honest. So I, I, I quit radio, or should I say, I, I resigned from my job last year, September. Okay. And um, I know, I, I know I'll, I may still go into radio because I still love radio anyways. But then, okay. since then till now, I've been comfortable. I've been living fine of voiceovers. So, yeah, I, I, I make money via my voice. So. Nice. <laughs> you know, but it didn't start in one day. It takes, okay. it takes a process, you know. You have mm -hmm. to be smart about it. As at the time I was leaving radio, I ensured that what I make from voiceovers on a monthly could make, I mean, was about three times my monthly salary or two times, two time, between two to three times a monthly salary. So it was easy for me to eject from the system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's yeah. smart. That's smart. Okay, now yeah. that we know that before you left, you know, you left your mm -hmm. last job, you made sure that um, you yeah. being alone, you being an entrepreneur, is enough for you. So what would you tell someone yeah. coming into the industry to do? What are the steps to earning what you are earning? You don't have to give us a number, but what would you say <laughs> someone <laughs> do to make money as a voiceover artist in Nigeria or in Africa? Let's, let's broaden your eyes. Okay, so um, I think there are some principles that apply not just to voiceovers, but then to almost any service that you choose to provide. Um, mm. First things first, you have to be able to offer quality service. And when I mean quality service, ensure that you are giving value to whoever you're delivering that service to. When okay. you are a value-oriented, value-driven person, people will naturally come to you because they know that when they meet you, when they hire your service, they will get 
quality, right? Mm -hmm. So um, now that's not to say that you have to get it all right from the scratch because I, just today I listened to um, one of my presentations in 2019 and I cringed because I was like, did I do this? <laughs> but the beautiful thing about it is, <laughs> yeah, but the beautiful thing about it is I've learned to grow. So the second thing I'll say after the first thing, which is the value oriented mm -hmm. more than profit oriented, because mm -hmm. problem a lot of people have is, oh, you just want to make money. If the reason why you're entering voiceover is because you just want to make money, like that is 60% of the reason why you're entering into voiceovers. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not going to go down, you know, as you expected. There's a lot of sacrifice into it. So the value oriented. Okay. Secondly, like I, I said, trust the process. It will take time. You can't jump from A to Z or A to Z in a day, you have to mm. start somewhere. Mm. You know, you have to understand that you should take time to grow. And what do you do in the process of growth? Definitely, you should train yourself. Go for trainings. Um, get yourself conversant with the happenings. Now, all of these things that I'm saying, it should even start before you ever think of, oh, I want to charge so 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 figure because you heard somebody's charging so 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 figure. Yeah. You know, be free enough to, or be, be humble enough to take some jobs for free or to do some jobs for free. No, I'm not saying that that should be the standard. I am saying that you, you start off by um, testing what you can deliver, you know, mm -hmm. because when you collect money for a job, trust me, and you do a wrong or you do a, you do a poor do job, they won't sense. call you back. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when you know you're not sure of yourself, you know, you start off with people that are around you. When I started, I started in my fellowship while I was in university a lot of years ago, almost a decade ago, you know, and that's where it all started. And then I had no idea about voiceovers in mm. terms of the technical aspect, mm -hmm. but then I just loved it. I knew I had a good voice and I could, you know, make this work some way, somehow. You know, so I kept doing that. Then I, I worked in the radio in school and that also exposed me to the technical aspect a little. And mm -hmm. I, But one thing about me is I always made sure that I want to have the best. So if, if you came to meet me back then and you wanted to pay me for that service, I would ensure yeah. I go to a studio because when I go to a studio, I'll have the um, studio guy the producer and all of that give me some, oh, you should do it this way, don't do it this way. And then they can also put their touch of quality into it. I say a lot of people, they, they get paid for these jobs and you use your phone to record and you just mix it on your phone and you just send it to the client. The quality is big down already. You know, so, and to be honest, if the person has ears for quality, they may not call you back. So you must be ready to take that step of learning, go for trainings, you know, um, work on gigs that you know, maybe from family, friends, you know, colleagues, do test something run. free, start do there, as as test work. run, that's the word. Yes, and follow what is happening in the industry. Um, fortunately, we have platforms like Abva already. We have other voice acting platforms on yes. i mean social media channels on clubhouse on instagram here follow yeah. them put the alarm on you know get updates ask I questions attend seminars conferences yeah, yeah yeah that's how you that's how you you know that's how you really start so <laughs> i know it's anyway, a lot but then anyway, so yeah you grow I, I like the fact that you you know You've given it to us straight. It's not so simple. It's not so easy. It takes, you know, work. Work on yourself. It takes your yeah. ability to deliver quality, which I'm, I'm, I'm very big on, by the way. So, well, this is amazing. Yeah. So that means you winning this competition is like, no, this is just a gift for the, the sacrifices, many years of work you put into yourself. Well done. <laughs> 
Thank you. Anyway, thank you. I'm going uh, to ask. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's let's talk about you winning. How did it feel? Okay. Oh. How did it feel? <laughs> it felt. How was it when you won? I, I need to know the emotions that was you know going through you when you realized you had won the competition. You are free. Feel for free. moments when. You get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to recall that, that experience again. Okay. For a moment there, I, I wanted to believe that everything was real, because, you know, even after a week, like it was still feeling like, because for the past um, about six weeks before that time, the competition had started. So yeah. all through the competition, you know, we had to every week. Do voiceovers, do videos, and all of that. So mm -hmm. when that happened, I was asking myself. So I'm like, so no more videos, no more challenges. This is the end of the competition. I am the winner, and I'm like, okay, calm down. You know, Aww. I was very grateful. I felt very humbled. Mm -hmm. I felt like all of the hard work paid off, and yeah, I felt yeah. graced. I mean, like, because um, those that were in the competition, to they were very good voice actors, you know. Yeah. For any reason whatsoever, anything could have happened. It was mm -hmm. an online competition. You yes. know, um, the internet could have, you know, been a stumbling block. You probably... Uh, so a lot of things could have gone wrong, but it happened to me. So I, I, I choose to feel more like I was favored much more than oh because i could do it you know i Obviously want it, it. you know so okay. Okay. yeah it was it was very humbling and i was very excited i feel like a celebrity afterwards <laughs> oh, yes. you were doing media rounds here and there of course <laughs> okay yeah. so um, yeah yeah are you open to collaborations are you open to mentoring people that want to you know be like you yeah Certainly, I am. Uh, to start with collaborations, I am because um, the voice acting industry in Nigeria is still very much green. Like, we're still in the, I won't say we're in the early stage, but there's a lot more that we can do. And I feel one of the ways we can, yes, one of the ways we can achieve the progress that we desire is when we collaborate. You know, after winning, I remember I I reached out to some of my colleagues, some of them who we were in the competition together, and one or two weren't in the competition, but are known as voice actors. And, you know, I tried to encourage them, let's do some project together. You know, not yeah. because, of course, it's not like we'll get paid, but then when we're able to do projects, where we're able to show people what's, the, the beauty and the richness, you know, the fun about voiceovers, it will inspire a whole generation coming, right? Mm -hmm. So collaborations uh, are a way of getting um, the industry forward. And I'm also open to mentoring people because uh, I myself, I am a strong believer in, in learning and also being mentored. You know, I have mentors. I have I've been opportune to relate with some of the top voiceovers like the a-list voiceovers before my generation you know in nice. the industry i've learned a nice. lot from them for, you know I, I, you don't one thing about mentorship again is you don't necessarily have to have conversations back to back sometimes you just observe you know mm -hmm. you follow keenly so i've been doing that and i've been learning i've attended conferences for voiceovers in nigeria in africa um, I've attended, you know, a couple of voiceover trainings, you know, and, and it has made me who I am. So I'm open to mentoring other people and yeah. Welcome. Awesome. <laughs> yes. So um, I can see that you are more of a voiceover artist than a podcaster. And I've also noticed yeah. that a lot of Nigerian <laughs> podcasters tend to call themselves voiceover actors, voiceover artists. Why do you think that mm. is? Well, I think a lot of people that do voice, I mean, that do podcasts, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, 
or I, I wouldn't say for everybody, but for most people, first of all, yeah. they have a story to tell because podcasting is basically about telling stories. But then you, if, if you're a Nigerian who grew up listening to people who have good voices on radio and you know you start dreaming that one day you're going to have that opportunity and then you get to a certain age you mature enough and you realize getting into radio is not as easy as you thought it was mm -hmm. and then this podcast platform came to you you'll take it right and you start flexing your voice on your podcast you you listen to how you sound you enjoy yourself you may surely get carried away and say oh you yeah, started doing voice acting, of which voice okay. acting is much more than that. I see. Yeah, so I think it's one of the reasons. A lot of podcasters were once, um, they wanted to be OAPs. You know, they wanted to have a radio show or a TV show or be the mm -hmm. voice behind the commercials that you hear, you know, the, okay. the narrations, the all of that. So because that market can only take few, but podcasts can accommodate it's many. You know, they get into the podcast industry. Exactly. And you know, they, they call themselves that. voice actors. So it's, it's not, okay, yeah. so it's not that they are voice actors professionally, but they feel that, you know, after yeah. years of podcasting, they have enough experience to call themselves voice actors. Yeah, it's but it's more than that. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's way more than that. Anyways, okay. Now that we know that you are open to mentorship, so we we are thinking that we we'll probably put out more content as far what it takes to be a professional voice actor. You know, for podcasters that were initially yeah. interested in being voice actors and not podcasting, and then there are also podcasters that are making money from their podcast. Am I right? Money from podcast, is that what you said? Oh, Tikka, are you there? Yeah, I'm with you. I think I so what did you say then? And then okay. there are podcasters, right, that are making money, right, from podcasting. Can you name? Yes. Can you, I wouldn't say name a few, do you know some that are making money through podcasting? <laughs> well, so... Should I say I know them? Okay. So, for instance, I, I, like I said, I own a company with a friend. We started last year. And one okay. of the services that we provide is audio production, podcasting, mm -hmm. precisely, right? And I can say that we've made some amount of money from podcasting. How? Um, we got a company to sponsor... A particular idea and I mean, um they got the yeah yeah they bought into the idea mm -hmm. and they're sponsoring it and we're making some money off it may not be as huge but then it's it's encouraging right it's true. so it's, we, their it, podcasts it, that's the proof we need. <laughs> yeah so there are podcasts mm -hmm. that are tailored in that direction you get mm -hmm. a sponsor who can really you know you build that podcast around whatever they sell, their products or their services, a company, whatsoever, you know, you can make money from that. You can also make money from just being the voice behind their podcasts, right? You can also make money from the production aspect because we are into production, yeah. not just voiceovers. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you can make money off that. So if, if you have a podcaster who can offer these services beyond just, you know, coming to say, oh, this is what I like to talk about. You can make money from that angle. There are also, like, the popular, if not one of the most popular podcasts in Nigeria, I said what I said. I'm sure that they make money. I, I cannot say exactly how. I know they, they've got a lot of um, brands that support what they do, you know, so I, I'm sure they're making money off it. So... That's what I can mention. I can also talk about ourselves. Then I know there are others existing, you know, but I can't just say all of them. Yeah, I agree with you. But it's just that there's a huge gap between African podcasters and, you know, the Western world. You know, in, if it yeah. in terms of profit, there's a very huge gap. And that is why communities like APA, we are here to see how we can mm. bridge, 
you know, that, that gap. Um, what should the African community expect from you? Mm. Podcast well, has, I... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I would for as a person one of the things I I stand for is standard and quality. I ensure that whatever I'm trying to do, I do it well. Uh, I'm a believer in learning. I believe you have to keep learning. The day you stop learning, you start dying. So I I'm saying that to say what the African community can expect from me is to uh, using my platform as a source of uh, uh, of, of putting out what sh- or how it ought to be. For instance, my company, we are looking into, you know, reshaping the conversation around broadcasting in Nigeria. You know, okay. there's a lot that we have, yeah, there's a lot that we have, we have allowed to go wrong in the past one decade broadcast is not what it used to be and we mm-hmm. can't just you know keep looking at it and expect that you know it, it's not getting better so we we should take responsibility for that so i'm doing that in the broadcast space in the voice of our industry as well i'm collaborating with um industry expert and we're looking at how we can train people um Maybe. i was trained by um, voiceover workshop. Voiceover workshop is an institution where you know people can learn about voice acting and all. You know, and I'm working strongly with voiceover workshop to put more content and show people how it ought to be done for podcasting as well. You know, it's 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 a field that I wouldn't say it, um, I have fully mastered, but then I am I am you know from the things that I have done. I've been able to say, oh, these are the things that you shouldn't do. I'm learning the process because it's not easy, right, in, in, in our own context, Africa. So there's a lot you have to put into consideration. One thing I should also say, I should let out there when it comes to podcasts, from my own experience, is yeah. if, you, if, you, if you're going to go into podcasts, ensure that whatever you want to talk about your content, let it be something you are most passionate about. Mm. Let it be something that you, you're not just most passionate about, but you're also knowledgeable about. Mm. I've, I've done music podcasts in the past. Uh, I've done lifestyle podcasts in the past and all of that. But I realized that my biggest passion is voiceovers. And um, I'll put it out there right now. I'm, I'm working on having a podcast that, you know, is just centered about voiceovers. And I can tell you for a fact, if I start that, I see myself just doing it because I do voiceovers every day. This wow. is something I can talk about. This is something I research about. I have books on voiceovers. I talk wow. to voice actors every day. I, you know, so, so it's my field. It's, it's, I have enough content right, to put out there. So if you're going to do podcasts, Ensure that this is something you are most passionate about, not something because everybody is doing it. I just want to do it. You have something peculiar, well, something unique about you that people want to listen to. Yeah. I like the fact that you are about to start a podcast that talks about being a voice actor. That's amazing. <laughs> and I think that yeah. a lot of people, you know, will have to listen to that. They will need it if they want to go into the voice bar industry. And yeah, we'll be here for all of that. We're here to support you. Yeah. We're happy to support you. Um, okay, so I think Thank you. we will be rounding up now, but I needed to make, make some announcements. So first things first, um, Tolu Lokwe, or T-Code, as you all know him, will also be featured on Response. So yeah, watch out for that. But right now, Respond is available for download. So please click the link in our bio and get a copy of our first issue. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you for your support as well. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm also sure that uh, there are ways we can collaborate. I'm already thinking about angles we can work together. So trust me, we'll be disturbing you very soon. There are lots 
Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk uh, behind the scene. <laughs> All right, then. Thank yeah. you. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. And you too. Bye.